is becoming clearer. It shows what came to pass, and what may come to be should we succeed against the Black Hand. Someone is thinking of that. say the enemy is weak on the left, and that the dwarves will tear through them there. Maybe then we can leave these filthy marshes and go home. Yesterday, the enemy made a call for parley. We saw the emissary's party ride out, a terrible black figure atop a black horse, and flanked by two huge men, similarly clad in black. They were not allowed to ride among our lines. Amid suspicion, they would scout our disposition and report back to their vile master. Instead, a small group of elves and men rode out to meet him. We could not hear what was said, but there will be no peace. Around the camp there are whispers. They say the emissary's mouth blackened and burned with Sauron's words, and that saying them caused the emissary great pain. He promised only slavery and toil. And I am compelled to believe it. I cannot help but think we will never make it into Mordor. Only death awaits us here.
Mihail said that he saw ghosts on the dead marshes. I thought he just saw his own fear. The sleepless dead, the shadow men, the dead ones. Mordor calls to them all.
fresh new ones today. These birds are feeding plenty well as it is. Oh! You bastards! When I am war chief, these birds will feast on your guts! <laughs> Did you stay there? <laughs> uh, could you get me down? <laughs> uh, I'm all right. That didn't hurt at all. Now, I know what you're thinking, Ranger. This was not my fault. I go to tell the chief that I've killed his bodyguard. He turns around, got the exact same face as the dead man that I just killed. We just got killed. Twins. What are the odds of? Just make sure you show up to take the place of the dead war chief. Uh, but the war chief's not dead. I'm going to go kill him. Oh, good plan. Uh, I'll be right behind you. Works. A training platform. Well, we'll see how the War Chief soldiers do in the face of a true foe. Rattle a cage and bring out the beast. See? And they're digging up everything in Udun. The thing tears the land up. Then the slaves pick through everything. Clay and mud go to the kilns. If they find metal, that goes to the forges. Anything they can use, they take back. And if they find an old weapon or piece of armor, they hand it off to the Urukai, the bigots. Maybe to study, maybe to wear. I don't know. They're on the move, for sure. We must know what is happening in Mordor. We have other eyes there, but yours are sharp. You serve us well. You will return there and report back. The Council must not learn of your actions. Do not get caught. We stood on top of the Black Gate, looking into Mordor, seeing nothing. We were asleep. The murderous rhythm of the Dark Lord's war machines will awaken all. We must break them. Or the archers, or sheets. Warriors are tough. <laughs> what? Thank <laughs> you. 
is able to take the War Chief's place. It will only be a matter of time before he leads us to the Black Hand. Grandpa took out gold off and the execution. How is that even possible? There's a powerful ruler of us. Mark, don't believe it. Gold off's dead was one thing, and the execution of his work. Slip Mario through him. Ratman's actually a champion. Oh, yeah. 
Death is my constant companion. Now I will see his face. <laughs> Finally, Ratbag is watching. <laughs> Ranger, we did it! <laughs> no honor our arrangement. Oh, don't you worry. War Chief Ratbag will make sure nobody gets in the way of your dirty schemes. <laughs> but Ratbag can't speak for the other War Chiefs. I wouldn't worry about them. <laughs> Could I borrow your... Uh, I need a sharper blade. <laughs> We get a lot more if the slaves weren't so lazy. That ranger out there causing trouble. I hope they got good. 
good defense than the garrison. Of course they do. It's too important to leave unprotected. Can't run an army without supplies. I thought I heard something. Oh, <laughs> 